Today we're going to actually explore Flagstaff, uh, the downtown area. It's a historic downtown um, and they have this cool Route 66 sign there that uh, is by the visitor center I believe. So we're just going to see what that's like, take some pictures there and um, kind of walk around a little bit to see what they all have. I wanted to check out some coffee shops or little cafes, but it's uh, it's cold out right now. It's 41, is it? 40? That's not right. Well, 36 degrees. It's 36 degrees right now. So eating outside will be a little cold. And the reason why we have to sit outside is because we have Kuma with us. I wanted to take her out on a walk with us so you know she can get some exercise in. So we're just gonna see what the parking situation is like there. Hopefully it's not too hard to find parking. And look, there's a train. I actually always hear trains passing by here. I've heard it a lot, like while we're in the hotel room or while I'm like walking Kuma around. Yeah, it's just sitting right now. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing anything. So I guess we'll wait here until we can move on. Okay, that train was sitting there forever. So we decided to see if we could bypass it because all these other cars started leaving. So we're following them. Yeah, it's been like 15 minutes already yeah. and it doesn't seem like it's moving. So I think everyone's starting to give up. Yeah, so we're gonna try to bypass this and follow these cars. They seem like they know what they're doing. <laughs> Maybe. Turn Maybe, left we'll see. West I mean, I think you just gotta go left. around. There's a train up there. Okay, so the train is on an overpass so we can bypass it. Is it right here? Center. Turn left. Yeah, so we just bypassed it and the train is still there. We're at the visitor center now. I guess we can just park here. So the train is finally moving now. So we're gonna go to the visitor center here. Yes, visitor center time. We just like to go to the visitor center because sometimes they give you information that you would have never found online or they have coupons and stuff, so. You just never know what you find in there. Yeah. And this one is like uh, pretty unique because it's actually... Oh, it's an Amtrak. Uh, Amtrak train station, I believe. I'm not really sure. Or it used to be, maybe. We'll find out. And long. Wow, it goes on forever. A oh, railroad depot. It was originally constructed in 1925 to 1926. So the entrance... The entrance is on the other side, and this is actually a train station. Welcome to the Amtrak Flagstaff train station. And we can go inside over here. So we found the Route 66 logo here but it's a really hard spot to take a good photo. I mean, especially right now because the sun is beaming down on us. So that's like a silhouette. Candy's kind of a silhouette, but here it is. You know, it's kind of what I came to see, the Flagstaff Route 66 sign. You guys look cool though. Kuma's like styling right there. Kuma, just stay there. Just stay there. We're gonna take a photo still. Okay, thank you. She's such a good model. So um, you're not allowed to, well, you can only park for 30 minutes on one side of the visitor center, but on the other side, they have a parking lot and she said it's a dollar an hour. But on the other side too, there's like another parking lot where you can park to pay and there's like kiosks where you pay for the parking, like this. And here we are. So we were just going to pay for the parking at the kiosk, but the one at the visitor center is broken. So we're gonna to try to find an area where we could pay for parking with a kiosk nearby. <laughs> if that's the case, does that mean you can park anywhere for an hour? Pretty much, I think. So yeah. maybe we could find some street parking, I don't know. But I don't know how busy it is right now. Yeah. It's, I mean, it seems 
pretty, pretty busy. busy right now and it's uh saturday all right so we just found some street parking that's across the street from the visitor center i'm just gonna read the signs yeah we'll read the signs but it looks like it's two hour parking here um and i, I don't think we'll i think two hours max is what we'll spend here anyway so this will probably be good for us but otherwise they have parking lots available you just have to find a kiosk that works. I'm just gonna read the sign and make sure it's okay. So two hour parking, seven to eight p.m. Monday through Saturday. Today is Saturday. So. So. I guess we're good. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna park right here and kind of walk around. Donahue Building. This is the Donahue Building from 1888. It was home of J.J. Sandy Donahue's famous Senate Saloon. Donahue held public office and participated in many civic improvements. But now it is a uh, Fire Creek Coffee Company. Somebody spills a bunch of coffee right there. This is looks like a little store of gemstones. Looks stuff. like it. Look at that tree. Made all of gemstones. Wow. <laughs> it's a really cute downtown area. It is. We got Korean cuisine here. Oh, nice. We love Korean food. Any Asian food, really, but Korean food is really good. Looks like they got some good selections. <laughs> this really cute tea shop. Full Barrel Tea Company is what it's called. I just love these little little tin cans it comes in. Yeah, how about you? I love it. It smells it's so nice good in here. Today, so. mm -hmm. You can also do some tea tasting if you would like. Yeah, did you guys want to try something? Sure. Did you want to try anything? I'll try. Yeah. Um, okay. We can start with this one. This is okay. also our charity tea. It's very hot, so sip slowly. Okay. It's a green chili bizcochito. So bizcochitos are Mexican cookies. Mm -hmm. It's got some nice some cinnamon kind of warmth to it. Too. Oh, yeah. oh, sure. That's interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's very interesting. I've never tasted anything like this. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's move on, and we'll come back here later. I was a little bit scared. I was gonna, I was gonna knock over something with the backpack. Oh yeah, it's so tiny. so bright right now again we're always in like bright spots of, in arizona or flagstaff area for whatever reason but yeah we're like in this nice courtyard area um oh it's called heritage square actually um that building is actually a historic one i'm pretty sure all these buildings are historic and they call it historic downtown so we we're looking for bakeries in the downtown flagstaff area and came across Ma mazel's bakery uh this whole thing actually is the bakery but there's a Little outdoor area here where you can sit at. Hmm. Oh, see, that's an almond croissant. Oh, this all looks good. What is that? A sugar cookie? Mmm. Oh, cupcakes. We stopped by Moselle's Bakery to get my pastry fix <laughs> and some other sweet fix because I got a lot, a lot of different things. I always do this. Every time I go to some pastry dessert shop, I get like a whole bunch of different things. Uh, so Candy got, this is the bear claw, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bear claw. I got an almond croissant, a lemon cupcake. It looked really good. And then this is a gluten-free sugar cookie. So that's actually another historic building. It says it's um, estimated 18 something, 1800s, and it's a hotel. It's a cool looking hotel. Yeah. And it's like a restaurant below, too. We just had some pastries, and we gotta say, I think it's the worst pastry I've ever had. It wasn't good at all. It was not good. It was dry and bland, and oh, I wish. I wish I could give it a good review, but overall, even the service was kind of sad. Mm -hmm. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't, they weren't friendly at all. Um, yeah, but the tea place that we stopped by, it's like this little tea shop. That was great. You can actually taste some tea if you want. Yeah, then she was super friendly. And a lot of their items, um, they give back to the community or donate to special organizations. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool too. So here is a sweet shop. Everybody loves a candy store. And then shoes and such is next. Uh, looks like they got lots of candy in there. We wanted 
wanted to come here, had to late for the train coffee shop, but uh, and I have two little tables here and it's in the shade and it's kind of cool in the shade. In the sh and it's in a high traffic area. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> not the most comfortable place to sit outside So with, with a pet, so we decided we'd skip it. Yeah, but I read some good reviews here on coffee and such. I bet their pastries are better. Probably. And then there's like the courtyard over there uh, across the street. That's where we had the, the, the pastry. Pastries. Yeah. So lots of stores, restaurants, cafes, coffee shops, hotels around here, all in historic buildings. All right. So I think um, I think we're gonna move on now. Yep. Move into the next scene.